this biography is the first to um, go below the surface, really. Um, not accept what has been written before, either by Barack Obama himself or in the press or in other books, but do primary research. So I traveled around the world, went to Kenya, went to Indonesia, spent a lot of time in Hawaii and Kansas, Los Angeles, New York and Chicago, the places of the Obama family and of his own life. Interviewed hundreds of people, uncovered troves of letters and journals and other documents, and tell the real story for the first time. There's a chapter in my book that I call The Movie Goer. It's about Barack Obama in New York City um, in the early 1980s, where he essentially was one step removed from his own life, uh, much like the character of The Movie Goer in the novel by Walker Percy. Um, he was always observing. He was, um, like his mother, who was an anthropologist, the partici participant observer. Um, and it was for a very intense period of sort of self-analysis that he was going through um, until he could feel his own identity in a way that he could be more confident about who he was and what he wanted to be. Well, it's not until you really study um, the, both sides of his family, both the African side and the, the white side that started in Kansas, and what each of the generations before him had to endure, and the utter randomness of of the lives that came together in a Russian class in Honolulu in 1960 to create this human being, Barack Obama. And then him dealing with being both a biracial kid and a cross-cultural kid, um, without a father, with a mother who was um, very understanding but not always there, living with grandparents, really trying to sort out who he was and what his purpose was in life um, is really what the book is about. And that that both understanding what shaped him and then the struggle, the nine years that he, in, he really went through from the time he, he went to college through the time he finished community organizing, nine years of trying to figure himself out in his identity um, is really quite extraordinary.